so I am back with a not a tutorial but my current my updated current everyday makeup routine uh, I have been absent from here and uh, my blog for a little bit uh, life has just taken over and um, I've been super busy with the kids and you know all family stuff but um, I just thought I'd show you what I wear every day or what I have been wearing every day for like the past I'd say like month now I haven't been wearing makeup too much but when I do this is just what I reach for and now that um, where it's spring is here I'm really into like glowing skin and making it look uh, very hydrated <laughs> because it's not um, and uh, I applied moisturizer I do have some hyperpigmentation which I'll end up covering up but uh, everything else is pretty basic and simple it's nothing elaborate so so I've really been loving the Dior Star uh, skin Dior Skin Star foundation I purchased this when it first launched and then used it for like two three weeks and then left it alone but now I am back into it and I have a mirror down here so forgive me but I tried using the viewfinder the last time I did my makeup look and my foundation was all over the place so um, I've also been loving it with the beauty blender I haven't used it in such a long time but I recently just picked it up and now I'm in love with it all over again. I had been using my hands or the, um, what is it, the Real Techniques buffing brush or contour face brush, one of them. Um, but the Beauty Blender is really nice and I just wet it, rinse it under like warm water to help uh, blend in the foundation. And then just do this stippling motion. God, I look so sick. But I promise you I'm not. Now I'm just going to conceal um, some spots that are currently on my face. Well, they're not even spots. They're like healing acne scars. And I have quite a few of them. <laughs> I'm going to take this Real Techniques domed shadow brush and just lightly kind of pat it into the blemish so that I don't um, end up, you know, disturbing it or moving the foundation underneath. And just lightly push it into the skin. Now I'm going to take the Dior uh, Skin Flash Radiance Booster Pen and this is 03 and if I can get the top off I am going to click it a few times and put the product on the back of my hand and this is like a peachy um, it's almost like a highlighter correcting pen those correcting pens and I'm going to take a little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer now I'm going to mix the two on the back of my hand and this just makes it the formula a little bit more uh, creamier and I just find that uh, mixing both shades the peach shade and the concealer has really helped with my dark circles and you know the greenness I have going on the blueness Ooh, it looks scary on camera but I'm going to blend it in then I'm just going to take the tip of the beauty blender and do this just make sure that it's all blended because it looks really scary right now in the camera but you can see that I have major you know dark a dark eye area it looks like I'm wearing eyeshadow but I'm not it's just the natural shade of my eyelid and I don't like putting concealer on it or foundation over top because um, I have oily eyelids as it is and I just feel that it's caked on like my eyelids feel heavy if I put any of these products over top of it some people can get away with it but I just I don't like it and I hate that stupid 
um, creased look like when I can see the concealer or foundation caked in between the crease of the eye it annoys the hell out of me so I just stay away but now I'm going to set that all with the Aesop immediate moisture facial hydrosol um, I'm just using this to add more moisture into the skin I'm gonna move my hair back so it doesn't get wet but do that then take the beauty blender again and kind of just lightly go over it all and this just adds even more moisture to it and kind of helps you know blend any edges you might have any harsh lines or whatever the case might be um, I just recently bought this um, and I'm loving it I'm going to move on to eyeshadow and I've been mixing two shades with a MAC, um, let's see, where is it? With a MAC 217, I'm going to take two MAC eyeshadows and this is Patina and All That Glitters. I've been mixing the two and it makes a really pretty taupey champagne color. I can't quite explain it. I just take both eyeshadows, a little bit of the bo both eyeshadows together and uh, tap off any excess and just sweep it across the lid with the 217. I am going to take a little bit of the same two colors on a MAC 239 and just bring it down on the lower lashes then. I just zoomed you guys in closer so that you can see. I'm going to take a little bit of MAC um, Cork eyeshadow, which is this neutral brown shade, and take it on a 224 and just put it into the crease. I feel like it's missing something, so just add a little bit of depth back into my eyeball. Okay, next I'm going to grab my Chanel eyelash curlers and just crimp and curl them. I think I've mentioned before, if you just take the curler and kind of open close, open close and just pump it, but at the same time kind of moving the curlers in that motion. There it goes again. Um, you'll get a nice gradual curl rather than them sticking up straight. I hate eyelashes that look like that and it annoys me. So I've learned to kind of give them, you know, a natural curl if that's what you want to call it. And it makes such a big difference. So that eye's done and as you can see it's completely changed the way everything looks. I think curling your eyelashes is such a huge um, step. Okay now I'm gonna move on to um, eyebrows. I know I'm a little bit all over the place but I kind of like to let my eyelashes set before I put mascara on them so I will move on to something else and then um, curl them once more if I have to before I apply mascara and I find that that helps hold my curl all day. So I'm going to take the Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to say it, um, Brow Wiz in Brunette and do my eyebrows and this is how I normally do them. I just draw a line here, really harsh bold line and then take the spoolie and just brush it up until it's all blended. And then right here where I have a little bit of sparseness going on, I will also fill them in. Okay, so I'm gonna move back on to the skin and I'm gonna set everything with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. 
which will help add that uh, glow effect that I've been craving for, but we we can we can fake that. And I'm just gonna leave the cheek area bare because I've been using a uh, cream blush, which I'll show you in a second. So just in the areas that I'll I tend to get oily, which is mainly um, the T zone and my chin. As my blush color, I have been using the Jouer, um, what is this called? It is their Tints, and this one's in the shade Petal, which is kind of like this neutral, um, I'd say like a, um, it's not peach, but it's not pink. It's like right in between. It's a very neutral shade. So I'll take it on a Real Techniques stippling brush and just um, kind of just stipple it on the cheek and then buff it in. And I try not to do the buffing too much because stippling will do most of the work for you and you don't want to move all that um, foundation that you had going on. And these tints, they are just, they're beautiful. They just make the skin look nice and juicy and healthy. Then I'm gonna take a tad bit of the Sculpt Shade from the Charlotte Tilbury um, Filmstar Bronze and Glow on a, this is the Ray Morris Deluxe Kabuki brush. And just literally dab the brush and just, um, contour with it right underneath that cream blush and I'm going to take some around the face now for highlighting I'm going to take a little bit of the Becca shimmering skin perfector I've been using this to go along with the whole uh, cream blush and I just dab some on my ring finger now let me hold the mirror up close so that I see what I'm, what I'm doing but I just dab it like this onto um, my cheek and just blend it in with my fingers on the top of my cheekbones I'm sorry not on my cheek and just dab that on and this is just a subtle subtle highlighter. It doesn't look unnatural on the skin. Done with everything. I'm just gonna go back with the mascara. Um, I don't think that they need an extra curl. So I'm just using the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof. That's what I always use. It's the only thing I use actually. I've really tried to, you know, try other different mascaras and I have liked a few but this is like the one that I always come back to um, there's just nothing like it and it does everything for my lashes it lengthens it thickens them it separates and without giving me that spidery clumpy mascara look then I'm just going to take a little bit on the uh, bottom lashes as well. Now for lips, I've actually been skipping lipsticks. Um, my lips have been really dry, so I've just been using like hydrating lip balms, or if I do use a lipstick, it's a really hydrating, moisturizing one. So I'm going to take uh, this lip liner. I've been sticking to the Boots number no. 7 lip liner in Nude. and. I just take this and I start lining the lips but I also fill in um, the actual lip with the entire or fill in the entire lip with the pencil so I'll just do this quickly and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Cora's or Cores, however you want to pronounce it and this is their lip butter in the shade Jasmine, which is kind of like this uh, neutral pinky shade. Nothing special. It looks like nothing 
special in the actual pot but once you put it on to the lips I don't know what it does it just alters the color a little bit it's like a nudie shade but once it's blended and I just pat it all in just a very nice um, neutral lip color there I just alrighty so that was it um, I know a lot of you've been asking for me to do this you know updated uh, everyday routine and this is what it consists of um, techniques still the same but uh, as we get closer to spring I'm trying to venture out and try color not color necessarily but like go back into the peaches but I'm still on a very neutral kick so the little light pink lip and the light pink cheek is kind of different for me so um, next video I have in the works is actually an updated um, like a what's in my bag um, I purchased a new bag so I'll show you guys what I keep inside of it um, and yeah I will see you guys next week bye